it's Cosplay Cost Mom, and this is MV Heart to the left, and we have Peachy Panda, um, who is the senpai in front, and we are working on a cosplay armor, and what we're doing is we are letting everybody know how we go about making the cosplay armor out of foam for right now. So in the first part of the video, what we had was we had the uh, we had the detailed base of the armor, which is saran wrap. What you do main mainly is you saran wrap the part of the arm or the part of your body that you want for the armor. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no, they're the new ones. <laughs> yes, if you are definitely going to use markers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, you're all you're good. But if we if we're going to be doing paint and markers and stuff, we definitely don't want to do that. So what we need to do is, um, what you do is you saran wrap the part of the body that you want to work on first. Um, it's always good to do a dummy set first, just to play through, just to make sure, you know, you don't mess up. And once you do that, you put one layer of duct tape and you make sure that the duct tape is connecting all the way through. And then after you are done with the duct tape, you go ahead and um, you draw a line on the inside of the arm to make sure that the, um, so that way when you cut it, you're cutting it down to a straight line. After you have cut the, the duct tape to, um, to the right, you know, after you cut it, you go ahead and if you would like, as you can see, um, Senpai, she is actually, she drew a little bit of a design on her foam or on her um, envy, hand me that um, duct tape part of hers that she has right there. Or no, that one's yours. No, the design. Yeah, the design. As you can tell, if you wanted to do a design, you can always draw the design on the duct tape after you have put it on yourself and you've cut it. As you can tell, this is where she's cut it right here. And then you cut it and then you draw and you trace it onto the foam piece, doesn't matter what color, and as Senpai forgot, but she likes to say that you uh, label the parts. The she did label the first one, um, but this is also just to show you that w if you want to do a um, design, you make sure that you cut the design out first before you draw it onto the, fa um, onto the foam. Once you do that, you cut the foam as you just saw Senpai Peach Panda do. She cut it using her blue because she's very colorful. She likes color paper. And um, she's, um, if you want to put extra layers, as you can see her doing now, she's putting um, like a border and little tiny little designs on there. Um, you cut those out separate. You can draw them, you can trace them, or you can hand free it, whichever way you want. And um, actually, if you want to do just a regular armor, Envy Heart, which is right next to her, did a just plain armor just like that. So if you're just doing a regular armor, no designs on it, that's what she's doing for her costume. And then you could just draw the pieces that you need on top of it. Um, I've actually answered that once before. The duct tape does not matter the thickness as long as you cover the saran wrap around your arm, leg, boobs, lab, chest, stomach, head, neck. It doesn't matter as long as you cover that saran wrap. If you're doing um, chest, your butt, um, the back of your legs, you might want to need an you might need an extra person to make sure that you get it 
all the way around. Yeah, it has like a butt flap, and then um, like um, Five Nights at Freddy's. Chica, one of the one of the chicks, uh, one of the chickens, they actually have a like a they have like a bikini that's metal that you can make out of foam. So that would also be for I guess you could do it. You can do it that way too. Um, there's a lot of different ways you can do it. So once you're done cutting the foam out. Um, you just got to be very patient and cut along the lines, as you can see Panda doing. If not, I can always repeat it. Yes, yeah. make sure it's definitely not too tight if you're going to do your body duct tape. Yes, and if you wanted to do the whole make you skinny, that is what a corset is for. That is what a corset. Even man, men have corsets. <laughs> so, <laughs> so if you want to have that skinniness, that armor is not going to make you look skinny. It's actually going to make you bulky. It's actually going to bring out that part of that body part. So if you have it on your arm, it's going to bulk out your arm look. If it's on your chest, it's going to give that bulk look on your chest. Um, so, as you can tell, Envy is doing her little designs on her, um, on her left, I think, arm armor. Um, yes. I think that's your left one that you're doing now, Envy. She hasn't decided, but it is one of her arm armor arm armors. Um, I don't think um Senpai Panda has done it yet, but I think Envy Heart has already done it, and she's already glued her details on one of her armors already. No. Okay. Oh, that's you just working ahead, Mr. Smart, Mrs. Smarty Pants over there. That is also very true. You always want to trace the two hands. Now, going back on cosplay convention, um, I guess, um, not really rules of the conventions and whatnot, it's just politeness and everything. When you are in your body armor or you are in your full body suit and whatnot, I, if it's your religion or not, it is very nice to make sure that you smell nice because you will sweat a lot. It might be Fab, it might be foam, but it will, it will burn, it, you will burn up. So, um, you might have put your blood, sweat, and tears into it, but everybody else does not want to smell it. So, <laughs> deodorant's not the only thing that needs yeah, to be done. I, you need to make sure I, you. Certain drive? Mm-hmm. And what is it called? Certain dry. C R O T E R T I D R I. Certain dry. It is um great for 
help. It's an antiperspirant, which it, it helps you stop sweating while you're in your full body or half body armor. Um, you put deodorant on top of it and you give it a bath and stuff like that. Yes, we are very lovely ladies. Thank you very much, Duck. Um, if you trace it in pen, she says, um, it's a lot more precise when you do it. <laughs> yes, Cosplay Mom is here. I am just hosting it. I am behind the camera. I am not in front of it this time. Hi. I'm actually I'm actually the host. I am not I am having my house open to my friends who are cosplayers. Um you see Envy Heart to your left and you see Senpai Panda. But yes, this is my stream. Um it is me. Um we actually have a cosplayer who's we actually have a cosplayer who is actually working on something else. I, she is actually working on something very awesome for a Lord of the Rings cosplay. She's hating life over here in the corner. She is doing chainmail. Hand doing it, too. Right here. Isn't that awesome? She is... I'm sorry, but she has more patience than I do. And this is just one section of millions, apparently. So... Yeah, that's a lot of patience. Very much. She. Oh. Good. I was like, oh god, I dropped it. Oh no. <laughs> um. So we have somebody who's doing chain mail, and um. So uh, this is behind the scenes of a cosplayer. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you never know what actually goes on. But yes. This is what we do. This is cosplay life, obviously, behind the scenes. We might be all pretty and perfect on the outside, but this is what we do on the in this is what we do behind the scenes. We are very frustrated and we will throw things and we will be very angry if we don't succeed. So, um she uh she is working on her um details of her armor which um like she explained last time, foam will <coughs> move so you want to hold on to it very tightly don't let it slip watch what it you know watch out make sure it's not going to slip Aw, cute little raccoon face. Why, thank you. I think it's adorable. Now it's winking at me. Um, the girl to your right, or the girl to your left is Envy Heart, and she is working on a, um, future cosplay from Legend of, uh, woo, from League of Legends. Yeah, yeah Le 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 Legend of Zelda. Sorry, I am a big Zelda fan, so I'll, I hate mixing those two up. But yes, she is also doing it. Um, um, that is Senpai Peach Panda that you see, uh, and with the, uh, the, out the, 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 person in front as you can tell there she is um and uh she does amazing um what was your most difficult somebody asked what is your most difficult armor you've ever made uh, repessa somebody asked why the wings
They also asked why the wings. Was it because they were separate from... Yeah. Wow, they actually pulled up a picture of you. They asked if it was attached to your corset that they see on you. Was it attached? Oh, it wasn't attached to the corset. It was, um, I, it was not a tuxedo. <laughs> <laughs> it worked for me. Um, I had metal drama that I, um, into an instrument. Hold on. She can't hear you. Here. She'll explain how the wings were attached to the, um, corset. Hold on. Is it a good picture of me with the corset? Yeah. So it, was okay. it, was, it was one of the ones from, um, Dragon, or the ones from Okay. Well, I was gonna say why, so yeah. I posted more of it on my friend's Oh, gotcha, okay. Um, so how I, I did the wings is, is not how you're really supposed to do it. Um, so I, I took Instamorph, uh, okay, rewind. Um, I, I made the, the wings the same way I'm doing this. Um, I just, I basically, like, pushed a bunch of sheets of craft foam together and glued them along the seams and then kind of freehanded. Um, and I had my friend Ashley um, measure about how big they would have to be to be the right size. Um, and then once that was done, I almost cut the cord here. Um, once that was done, I, uh, I sandwiched it in Warbla. And then I took Instamorph um, to have like a, a bigger base on the back where it connects to the Curious. Um, and when the Instamorph was still um, malleable, like it, it acts kind of like a clay when it's warm and then it cools and then it's completely hard. Um, so I, I sunk these metal bra hooks, um, not like the, the little tiny hooks, but like the, they're, they're kind of like that. Um, I sunk them into the Instamorph and like kind of made sure it was really in there and it's there for life. It's, it's always going to be there unless I like heat it up with a heat gun. And then on the bottom, um, I did the same thing except with, um, a little bit of elastic and then I cut, um, holes into the um the back of the curious i just like heated it up over the paint and everything which honestly you're not supposed to do either um but i uh pushed a knife through and just made like little slits like four of them total and then that way um when i go to put it on i take the curious and then i put um i pull the elastics through on the bottom and then hook them in on the top with the bra hooks and then tie the elastics together in a knot in the back um you're supposed to have a harness um but Honestly, it's so big and bulky and hard to get on in the first place that I just, I really didn't want to try to do a harness. Like, I, I made one even, but I just didn't want to <laughs> use it. So I'll probably use that for something else. Um, I was going to say something else. Oh, yeah, the, the pros and cons of uh, foam armor versus warbla. And I know a lot of people um, find warbla to be just too expensive, and um, that's completely understandable especially when you're just learning you don't really want to use too much in the way of warbler because it is so expensive and I mean it, it is very forgiving where like you can reuse it and everything but once it's on foam it sticks pretty well so um I just heard a noise what happened <laughs> yeah it sounded like you got like an email or something I don't know Okay. Because I have people on Facebook asking questions. Oh, gotcha. Oh, okay. I have it on Facebook, I have it on YouTube, and I have it on Twitch. Well, I have it on three different places streaming, so basically you're being watched. <laughs> yeah, you're being watched. <laughs> 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 There's no point to be, uh, you know, no shy. Yeah, no, no, okay. Don't be shy. Come on. Corner court corner. Yeah, 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 all right. <laughs> Anyways, um, okay, pros and cons, though. Um, foam armor... You can get, um, I mean, the same level of detail that you get in Warbla, um, but I'm going to put a big asterisk by that. Like, it really sucks to spend months of your life on something and then it just gets destroyed after a couple cons. Um, my first armor was Daedric armor from Skyrim, and it is no longer wearable. It tore in so many different places and I would have to completely redo so many parts of it that it's just not even worth it anymore. Um, which is really sad. I mean, I made, um, like, steampunk wings, like these giant cogs with, like, uh, foam feathers coming out of it, and, I mean, it, it needs, like, a little bit, but, um, like, the problem with foam is, like, if you do big stuff like that, you can't even sell it at all. Like, I tried selling those, and, I mean, they're, like, legit huge wings. I can't even sell them for 50 bucks. 
It's like, so you put all this work into it, you know, you, you don't want to use it anymore, or can't use it or whatever, and you can't even get rid of it. So it's just basically like, I mean, all you get from it is the learning experience, which, I mean, when you're new is still valuable, but like, I've been doing this for a while, so like a learning experience is not what I'm looking for at this point. So um, Warbla makes it more valuable, so when you don't want it anymore, you can turn around and sell it. Um, it makes it last so much longer. It makes it, um, especially if you do the sandwich method, which I'll, I'll get into um, in a minute here, um, it, it makes it waterproof. Uh, depending on what kind of paint you use. Um, but, I mean, th the point is like with foam, if you try to get it wet, it's destroyed. It's done. Um, but, yeah. I don't know. Do you really think it needs the curly cues? I don't want <laughs> I don't really want to do the curly cues. I think it's fine without. Um, and what do you think, Ashley? Curly cues or no? They'd be like here, like that. <sighs> you would, jerk. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna take some of my scraps. Honestly, like you could. Well, I don't know. Maybe not. Like, I'm I'm weird about colors, as I was talking to you guys about before. Um, you can you can try to like smush everything onto one sheet, but for how cheap you can craft foam, it's it'll save you a lot of stress to just color coordinate things. <sighs> hate you, Ashley. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> kind of sounds like he's purring. Purr. So when I was a kid, um, uh, my parents just didn't want me here on the house when I was uh, like off of school, like during the summer. Uh, I'm guessing. Uh, because they put me in this thing, and it was so cool. Like, at the time, I, I didn't even, you know, I, that part didn't even occur to me, but it was just the, the coolest thing. It was like a college, almost, but it was for kids, and we had to pick all of our classes, and only, like, a couple of them were mandatory, but they were all based off of a play that everyone performed at the end of the year, and the, the play that we did was Cats, and I was bomb ballerina, by the way, in case you know about cats. Um, but I think, like, I don't know, I have zero power to make this happen in this area. <laughs> but, like, it's just such a great idea. And for anyone out there that has any sway in that sort of thing, like, talk to college classes or something. And, like, get this going, like, everywhere. It's such a, like, revolutionary idea. So I learned so much from it. Like, I learned stage makeup. Um, I learned... Um, I mean, I did voice lessons, I did uh, tap lessons, jazz, um, I still have two left feet, so don't ask me to dance, but it was still just like the best experience of my childhood. I don't know why I'm talking about this right now, I guess it's something randomly that's going through my head. Okay, so for a lot of this, um, it's just too tiny to trace. I mean, I'm, I'm doing the best that I can, but for a lot of it, I'm just kind of, like, sitting it next to where I want it, like, like this kind of thing. See, I, I put it next to it, and then just kind of, yeah, cool, thank you. I know a lot of it is just repeat mm -hmm. and repeat of what we've already done in the previous hour, but that's what armor is. Yeah. <laughs> both arms. I mean, you do have two arms, right? Got two legs. Unless you're, um, well, I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> okay. You always have three feet, the same thing that you have done. I mean, some armors are asymmetrical. Like, that was actually one of the problems I had with the Daedric armor. Um, since I, I did it exactly the way I'm doing now, I have a huge problem with asymmetrical things. Like, it just 
bothers me. So like those pauldrons are not are not symmetrical. So I I think I made them a little bit more symmetrical than they were supposed to be, but it was kind of like a a compromise, I guess, to like appease that side of me that just couldn't even stand looking at it when it was that different. Ooh, that's not okay. Okay, so if you just completely and totally screw up, <laughs> sorry, okay, if you just completely and totally screw up, just do it again. It's cheap. Yeah, don't kick him. <laughs> Like this one, I'm I'm trying to save, but it's it's too short. Like, see, it's it's not turning out. So I'm gonna redo that one because I want them all to be as close to each other as possible. All right, we have a new person. Hi. Okay. Oh God, my back. Uh, you can take a break if you want to stand up and stretch. Um. That'll give me time to yeah, clue him in. Okay, for sure. That way I can clue him in. All right, guys, Simpai, um, Peachy Panda is going to stretch and, you know, kind of, because um, she's been sitting for almost an hour, so she's going to take a break. Um, we will be back. I mean, we're still going to um, stream. Um, we're still going to stream, but um, I'm going to actually show you. Um, I'm going to say I'm going to show you the same thing. Because, well, um, we have a new cosplayer coming in. So, so um, we're just going to get this settled down in there. And um, actually, you can hand me my teapot. Don't want this broken. Woo it's definitely Japanese and don't need that broken, honey. Put that on the table for me. Put it on the table. Um, Envy Hart has taken a break. She will be back. She's working on a future cosplay as well, so don't worry about that. And, um, so, Just log me back in. Yeah, because I said we're taking a break. Almost everybody left. I know there's so many people, Batman. Yeah, he's been pretty. He's been pretty damn good. Yeah, he did. I'm gonna have one. All right, guys. Um, I know you're gonna. I know you're gonna see a blank screen for a bit. Um, but I'm gonna take over the 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 chair for a minute and include and um, we have a new cosplayer that just walked in. So we're gonna we're gonna repeat the process again. So I know it's I know it's probably three. Um, I know it's about three times I've repeated the same steps, but like I said, it is a repeat in practice. So, nice butt. <laughs> so, I'm going to just cut in front of you. Batman, yes. Everybody loves you. Everybody thinks you're pretty. He does. Well, I made—I don't know if you see my—I don't know if you see my Glaceon, but I've yeah, made one too. Mm -hmm. That one I made. I made that one actually out of three tutus. I ripped them apart. Did you just whine? No. Okay. Well, the reason why, if he whined, it's because of his paw. He has a nice.